number one Iron Age booty daddy. While the mainstream comics industry has been giving themselves a swirly in the nearest non-binary bathroom that they can find for the last few years, and the Hollywood writers seem to have about as much motivation to write as Biden has to walk upright, the indie comics guys are absolutely crushing it right now. In fact, one of the biggest things in indie comics that we've been asking ourselves for a while now, and I'm fairly new to this, so don't take my word for it, Talk to some guys who've been around a while. The distribution question just got answered today by none other than the creator of the crowdfunding website, Fund My Comic. Luke Stone Studios just came out today and announced that he is going to do a direct to retail distribution model for independent comics to make sure that not only do the independent guys get into stores and into store shelves, but for shops out there who need product at a fair price, get them and can sell them and move them as well. This is something that seems to have been, well, away from many of us for a while and away from many of the people who have been looking for good places to go find some good comics. Well, anymore, with Diamond deciding to die on its death nails the way that it wants to, it's time for a new distribution model. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the biggest news in the indie sphere today. The woke comic book media is dead because the indies, they're not striking, they're not moving on, and they definitely aren't bowing down or bending the knee. No. In fact, they are doubling down and making sure that they can write the best stories while Hollywood and all of these comic book companies have decided to basically lay down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is big news. I would welcome everybody to go down in the description of this channel below and go check out the Fund My Comic website. There are more than just comics over there, and it's not just for comics. There are things like novels, tabletop RPG. He would like to work with people to get video games designed. The sky's the limit. Entertainment media is no longer in the hands of multinational corporations. No, it's actually in the hands of guys like us where it should be for people who care about creating something, building something, and taking us into the future with good storytelling. What makes me so happy is that watching a live stream on John A. Douglas's channel, link also down in the description, he was able to get Luke Stone Studios of Fun My Comics on today, and the ideas in that live stream that were discussed were absolutely baffling. He talked about getting old school spinner racks to put up in various different gas stations and uh, supermarkets and things like that. So I think this is an absolutely fantastic way to get comic books and independent stories in the eyes of the mainstream, in the eyes of the normies. Mom and dad are checking out in the grocery store and the kid's like, hey, dad, 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 let me buy this. Ah, it's five bucks. Go for it. Why not? You see, ladies and gentlemen, where there is a will, there is a way. And the fact of the matter is the indie guys, the Iron Age and the Comics Gate guys, they have the will because the mainstream lost their way. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think about this development, what you think about the distribution model. Go check out John A. Douglas's channel. He did a fantastic interview today. And go check out Fund My Comics. If you are an old school comics fan and you're looking for something new. And as always, like this video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for me. And I will see you all next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.